Good afternoon and welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron. I'm here to show you this 2015 15 plate Volkswagen Tiguan 2 litre TDI match blue motion tech with 148 brake horsepower. This particular model comes with two previous keepers on the V5 and the HPI report. It's finished in pure white and has full service history with three service stamps and we will service an MOT the vehicle prior to it leaving our site and it's on a very low 44,000 miles approximately. So first things first we're going to zoom out and we'll do a quick walk around of the vehicle then when we get back around to the start I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop and we'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel starting at the near side front near side front wing looks in good condition both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good near side front alloy is a nice condition alloy one or two age related marks uh, a couple of black scuffs there that i think will buff off near side front tire approximately uh, four or five mil very light wear on the outer edge but doesn't look too bad but we'll be assessing our workshop uh, prior to sale Moving down the near side, all the panel work looks good. Chrome trims look good. Near side, sorry, near side rear out alley. Looks in nice condition, one or two age related marks, nothing major. Near side rear tire, approximately five mil. Looking back down the near side from rear to front, <clears throat> near side rear quarter looks good. Both near side doors look in good condition. The near side front wing looks good as well. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're gonna check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. One or two tiny little marks just on that near side bumper corner to be flat and polished and touched up with the genuine Volkswagen touch up paint. Lower plastics and reflectors look in good condition. Very, very, very light marks for being picky along the plastic there and on that parking sensor, but we can touch that parking sensor up. And the rest of the rear bumper looks good. Again, being very picky, very light superficial marks just on that bumper corner there and a couple just along the quarter for us to polish up and touch in. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition again being really thorough quite brutal and picky i think that's they'll have actually come off with my finger very light scuff just on the bottom of that light there but will not affect an mot or anything like that so we'll just try and polish that up in our workshop best we can rear screen with the factory privacy glass looks in good condition and along the roof lining also looks in good condition <clears throat> looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front offside rear quarter looks good uh, both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good. I'm just going to go back because I said the offside rear quarter looked good, but I've noticed very, very, very slight dent just there. We'll get our dent doctor to pop that out prior to sale. Offside rear alloy, another nice condition alloy, a couple of tiny age related marks, nothing major. Offside rear tyre, approximately three or four mil remaining. Moving down the offside, again, panel work looks good. Chrome work at the bottom looks good. Offside front alloy, another nice condition alloy, couple of age related marks but nothing major. Offside front tyre, approximately 4 or 5mm again, very slight wear on the outer edge but doesn't look bad. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, offside front wing looks good. Both offside doors in nice condition, offside rear quarter just the one dent to be rectified prior to sale. Moving around the front of the car now we're going to check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. As you can see. All lights and grills look in good condition. And as for the front bumper, for the age and mileage of the car, looks in nice condition as well. A couple of very light marks for us to polish up, touching the best we can on that uh, near side front corner. Other than that, looks in quite nice condition for the age and mileage. Right, final panel to look over is the bonnet. Moving quite low, you can see the panel work, or well, the panel itself looks in good condition. Paintwork looks good, no major dents or scratches. We always expect one or two light marks along the front for us to polish up and touch in with a genuine Volkswagen touch-up paint. But other than that, looks in nice condition. Now, before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. Can't see any major damage. Can't see any chips that require repairing. No cracks or anything like that. Couple of light surface markings, but other than that, it looks in good condition. Now we're gonna make our way through the interior. We'll start in the boot. <clears throat> we'll zoom out to make it a little bit clearer. 60-40 split folding rear seats, all carpets and plastics look in good condition, light wear and tear but nothing major. Parcel shelf is present and looks in pretty good condition. And then all your plastics underneath the boot lid itself, again other than very light wear and tear, looks in nice condition. Moving through the rear, rear door cards look good, 
Now you have the full cloth rear bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, Isofix fittings to both outer seats. There's no excessive wear to the seat, looks in nice condition. Headliner throughout looks good. Backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpet's in good condition as well. Just before we move through, rear vents look to be in good condition as well. Moving through to the front. Front door cards in nice condition. Front carpets looks good. And there you have the front seats again. Grey cloth bolsters still nice and firm, holding their shape. No excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours at all. Jumping in, passenger seat, just as nice, if not a little bit better. The lines you can see in the seat are just brush lines where they've been cleaned. Again, no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. We'll start the car up and we'll run you through as much of the spec as we can. Full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. Automatic lights and wipers on this car. Moving to the centre console. Got two usable cup holders behind here. Electronic parking brake and optional auto hold. The fully adjustable cloth armrest. Six speed manual transmission. Four motion four wheel drive. We've got a 12 volt socket, USB and auxiliary. Uh, from right to left those buttons there we've got traction control, stop start, we've got full park assist so the car will park and unpark itself and we've got full parking sensors with optical display. Dropping back down a little bit as you can see we've got dual climate control, air conditioning, recirculation and reheated screen. Up to the MMI unit as you can see we've got satellite navigation, full telephone prep on this car, Bluetooth media streaming as you can see here and a couple of other options and we've got DAB radio and a couple of other options as you can see there. Back over to the driver's side, we're finished off with this leather bound multi-function steering wheel. And this car is on, like I said, a really low 44,669 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thank you very much.